You ready? Mind? You ready? Yeah, I'm okay. ready. I'm psyched up. All right, go ahead. Hey everybody, it's Marty from Aspect LED. Today we're going to talk about the HP or high performance RGB 38 inch wall washer. So let's take a look at it. All right, let's take a look at the connectors on this. The HP series wall washer comes with three connectors out the back. And it has a little key right here that tells you what everything does. But let's talk about these. These are both signal cables, and this is our power input cable. And you'll notice it comes with two pins. In the package, we will provide a little jumper out for it, and that just plugs in right here. And slide that connection and tighten it up, and that gives you two wires to lead right here. On the power cable, cable it comes with both a brown wire and a blue wire. The brown wire is your 24 volt DC positive wire and the blue wire is the 24 volt DC negative wire. This can be joined to another cable directly to your power supply. I prefer soldering. There are other methods you can use to join that. If you're doing this outdoors you want to make sure that you're properly sealing that connection. Now each one of these needs its own connection back. You cannot daisy chain power. So that's why there's only one power connection. There's both an in cable and an out cable. So the signal on these can be daisy chained and you can daisy chain up to 16 of these. So on the signal side of this, we have our DMX positive or D positive is the brown wire. The blue wire is the DMX negative signal wire. And the black is going to be our DMX ground. We are not going to be using the green and yellow wire in this setup. These can also be soldered and heat shrink tube, or you can use other methods to connect it, getting it back to your DMX controller. Okay, now that we've talked about the DMX cable, let's talk about the DMX address. This has actually got its own decoder built in with a pre-addressed address. And this one is set as D001. This is something that is set at the factory. So uh, if you want to set a different address than DMX address 001, please let us know. This does not need a DMX decoder as this is already in the DMX signal format. So this is going to go directly to our DMX controller. All right, today we're using our wireless, now this is challenging, our wireless three zone wall controller. You may recognize this from our other videos. This controller also has the ability to talk to DMX devices. It does need to be hardwired if that's the case. And on the face here, you'll notice there's the zone numbers, zone one, zone two, zone three. We're gonna use zone one because our device is addressed at DMX address 001. If you wanted to use 2, that's address 5, and if you wanted to use zone 3, that's address 9. On the back of this wall controller, you will see there's actually DMX output for D minus, D plus, and ground. And we've connected on that device the D minus, which was our blue wire, went to this port, the D plus went to this port, and the ground, which was our black wire, went to this port. And then we have a power supply powering this. And when we turn it on, the device lights right up. Now this is an RGB device, so you've got your red, but then you've also got blue and green. And as you can see, you've got the whole rainbow of colors here. You can control the brightness. And you can do this with any DMX controller, so long as it's speaking to address 001. You can play a pre-set color sequence. And then let's take a look at what RGB white looks like on this. You've got a warmer white, a cooler white, and an even cooler white. Now that we've discussed the signal and the power requirements for the wall washer and how to control it, let's talk about mounting. It comes with two convenient angle clips that are mounted to the back. These can be adjusted. You can back off the Allen with an Allen wrench, and then you can loosen up the foot 
with a Phillips screwdriver and you can slide this along the track to the best match whatever you're mounting it to. I hope you found this video helpful. For more helpful videos, please like and subscribe.